Hey guys, Matt Langford here with another tackle tip for you. Now, when I use Bassman spinner baits, occasionally I'll um, catch a few good fish on a, on a Codman series or something like that. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually show you how to re rig those um, soft plastics. Now, this is a twin spin, this one. It doesn't have a stinger hook, the plastic's been ripped off, so I need to re rig it. So, what I've got is I've got a large squidgy fish here. What I've done is I've trimmed up the, uh, the, the fin at the top and I've just trimmed that nose so it's nice and straight. The things you need to do to get it nice and square and ready in preparation for putting that on, number one is sizing up where your hook's gonna come through. So I'm just gonna size that up. I can see where that's gonna come through, so I'm gonna place my thumb there. I'm actually gonna hold that there and turn it this way, just so I can see it a little bit better. I'm then gonna get my stinger, and I'm gonna place it roughly where it's gonna come through, so I can see it's gonna come through up here. Okay, so I keep an eye on where that is, I'm putting my thumb there. What I can then do is I can just make a little incision very closely on the top. Okay, make a little incision with the top. What that'll do then is it'll allow me space for me to push that eyelet through. Now I'll show you how to do that. Get your eyelet and push it in sideways. It does take a bit of force with these plastics. Now I'm going to push this down nice and solid. And then once I get it down far enough, I'm actually going to twist that sideways. So we've got our stinger that comes through just like that. Okay. Now we can see there's a little bit of a bulge about center where that uh, main hook needs to come through. Now this, is the, this can be the tricky part. I need to then insert the main hook on the spinner bait through the nose, keeping it through the center, and I actually have to come through that eyelet. So I'm gonna do that now very carefully. So the biggest thing here is just trying to keep it nice and centered make sure that that sting hook stays in that plastic. Now I'm just gonna take my time with this, just to make sure that I do get it right. Make sure it's nice and centered. Now once I get that hook point roughly where the center of that uh, spinner bait is, I need to start feeling for where that is. Now I can feel it there. I just need to make sure that it's gonna come through. Now I've gone through that eyelet. Now what I need to do is I need to thread it up so it's straight. So I'm gonna push that head right up on that point there, or right up on the top of that spinner bait, just like that, so it's nice and straight. Now generally, I would use a larger soft plastic for this sort of caper, but you can see now that that stinger hook is through that plastic, okay? Now, like I was saying, I generally have a larger plastic, but this is good for um, you know when those fish are short striking or something like that. But cod generally have a large mouth and they're going to engulf it. So I would recommend having a larger plastic, but this will give you an idea of how to rig that. Now, just make sure I'll pretty that up a bit so it's nice and straight. Now, the other cool thing is I've got um, what you can do. I'll show you a couple little options for actually putting a plug on this stinger. So to alleviate this stinger coming off this main hook, what we need to do is have a plug. So guys use beads. Uh, another option you could do is have some milk carton and you can actually cut out a little, uh, a little circle and insert it that way. But I found this cool tool when I was over in the States. Now it's a, a stinger stopper. Basically it has little tiny plastic inserts. I'm sure you can buy these online. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where to get them, sorry, but they are from overseas. Uh, you can make your own stingers just by getting a, um, a, a bit of milk carton and a, what do you call those things, a little circle stapler that um, does your binders and that sort of thing. But basically, this little tool, we put a little plastic insert there, and very simply, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Put the head of that hook right in the middle and I'm just going to push it through just like that and that comes out and that puts that little stopper on there so that stopper is going to stop that um, stinger hook from coming off that main hook now all I really need to do is I'm just going to pull that out this is now 
a fully rigged Codman twin spin in the Bassman series. It's been banged up and used a lot, this spinner bait. Now I have a, a simple plastic rigged on there ready to go for when I'm cod fishing. I have a little action in the tail. I've got my um, two Colorado blades and I'm ready to fish. It's as simple as that.